I remember the conversation where we knew we wanted to use the PlayStation uh, heritage and we knew we had a game in which you rescue the crew. But the two things were not connected. At the end, just one, why don't you just make the crew the PlayStation characters? We have a unique animation set that really has like a little joke. So every time the player sees a new one of these IPs, we want them to laugh, we want them to smile, and we want that kind of joy to come through. My favorite, I should say Sly Cooper. Yeah. Yeah, just because this is like perfect example of communication with original developer because they wanted to bring out more diff like personality of Sly. As part of the PlayStation Fiesta, we have these the cameos in the game and then one of the features that we thought about at the beginning of this project was what if this time you could play as one of those? And it felt like a crazy thing, right? We can't recreate God of War, but we did it. I love when I'm throwing Kratos sets. It really has that reaction. It's really exhilarating. So it's using the adaptive trigger, that's the important part. And the adaptive trigger gives us, obviously, the pressure, but also we have the whole haptic feedback to get that kind of metallic kind of recoil, you know, metal to metal. There's a slight delay, yeah. but you know it's coming back and the moment it lands in your hand, yeah, it's, it's just... just... Like... What I liked in your concept, Nakai-san, is that you drew Kratos angry but cute. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, really. One of the hopes we have is that the young generations would come across these special characters and then would be inspired to go off to these older games and actually try them for themselves.